Hello everyone, it's Mankola here. Now Mario Kart 8 Deluxe had an update recently that fixes a few things, but there are still things that need to be patched in the game, and I'm going to be talking about those in this video. First, red shell and blue shell targeting needs to be fixed on all engine classes. When a red shell or blue shell locks onto a target, it actually travels slower than it does when it goes around the track. This is most noticeable on 200cc, but it can still happen as low as 50cc. In this example, Mario goes through the cannon on Cloudtop Cruise, and outruns the blue shell for a short time. This can cause balancing issues on 200cc. If you have multiple red shells, you would have to space them out so that way the red shells don't crash into each other because they're going so slow. You also need to account for the extended invincibility frames if one of them does land a hit. And you have to use them in a place where the player ahead can't guide them into a wall. And in online play, the slow-moving blue shells can desync on player screens, causing it to explode earlier or later than it actually does. Next, the warning system needs to be improved. You can get a red shell warning even if the red shell is not targeting you, so in a large crowd of racers, combined with the slow red shell targeting on 200cc, this can cause a lot of confusion. Two ways to fix this would be to only show the warning if you're the target, or allow all players to still receive the warning, but put an aiming reticule on the player who's being targeted. Next, you should be able to receive multiple warnings of items that are locked onto you, like red shells and blue shells. Combined with the slow targeting of these items, if a blue shell locks onto you on 200cc, You'll see the warning for the blue shell, but if a red shell comes out of nowhere, you will not receive the warning for it. This can cause players to be caught off guard by a red shell they couldn't even see coming. And finally, there should be piranha plant warnings in races. There are warnings for piranha plants in Renegade Roundup, but it would be important to know that there's a chomping piranha plant of death behind you in a race. Next, item dragging hit detection in online play really needs to be fixed. If you hit a player with a dragged item on your screen, it will register on their screen even if they did not touch the items on there. It is very common to get hit by a dragged item that you were not even touching in online play, which ruins the experience. One way to fix this would be to make it like the previous games, where the only way to get hit by a dragged item would be to touch it on your screen. The other way, which I would prefer would happen, would be to remove the ability to hurt players with dragged items. Item dragging is already a broken mechanic. It gives the players in front the advantage since the items are usually dragged behind them or orbiting them without having to throw the item at all. It makes it harder to catch up since those players who are trying to make a comeback will end up crashing into those dragged items or not even touching them in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's case. Item dragging can also cause massive cart pileups, allowing the players in front to get away while the others in the back kill each other. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's online makes an already broken mechanic even worse. Next, all backward thrown projectiles need to be nerfed. Items like green shells, red shells, and boomerangs travel very fast when thrown backwards, giving no reaction time to those in the back positions, and that is really unfair. A backward drop bomb explosion is way too big, often blocking the entire road, this can make catching up much more difficult since players have a tendency to throw everything backwards. Backward thrown green shells or red shells should travel much slower, like in Mario Kart Wii, or not move at all like in the earlier games. If the backward thrown shells did not move at all, then they would have to disappear much sooner than banana peels, because otherwise the road would be blocked much more. Backward drop bumps would be about a third of the blast radius. And boomerangs would have to travel much slower and a shorter distance before returning to the player. Next, the bombs should not be obtainable in first place. The bombs are pretty powerful and drop backwards, as I mentioned with the backspamming earlier. The bombs are as rare as the Super Horn, so if you're just behind in second place, it'll pop up when you least expect, and it feels very cheap. The rare bombs in first place should be replaced with rare red shells, like in the original game. Next, the Fire Flower needs to be nerfed. In Mario Kart 7, only three fireballs out of the Fire Flower can be in play at once. This prevented players from spamming all ten fireballs at once. However, in Mario Kart Wii U and Deluxe, all ten fireballs can be in play at once. Even though you can have two items at once, that will not be enough to protect you against ten fireballs. Also, there can be two or three fireflowers in play at once. So that means there can be up to twenty or thirty projectiles on the field at once. The fireflower should be referred to back to what it was in Mario Kart 7, where you can only have three fireballs in play at once. Next, the item blocking and hit detection needs to be improved in both offline and online play. What I'm talking about is instances of using a defensive item, but still getting hit by the item you're trying to avoid at the same time. In this example, I try to use the Super Horn to block a Banana Peel, but I still get hit by the Banana Peel with the Super Horn activating. Right here, I use a star right before a Red Shell hits me, but I still get hit, but the star activates. And here, I use a Boo right when the Lightning Bolt goes off, and I'm tiny and invisible at the same time. There have also been times where I have a Triple Banana, and then I try to block another Banana Peel that's on the road, but I still get hit by that Banana Peel, but one of my Banana Peels still disappears. Now these cases usually involve using a defensive item right at the last second, but none of this stuff actually happened in the Wii U version. 
so it seems like with the port to the Nintendo Switch, something went wrong with the item frame data. Next, while spectating an online race, we should be able to press the B button to go back to the previous player we were watching. We were able to do this in Mario Kart 8 Wii U, but for whatever reason, in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, pressing the B button while spectating does nothing. So if you see something interesting happening to a player, but miss them, you have to go all the way around the player list, and then go back to them, and by then, the event has already happened. Next, we should have passwords for friend lobbies. In Mario Kart 8 Wii U, you had to be friends with the host to actually join the friend lobby. In Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, you just had to be friends with anybody in the room. So if you're hosting a friend lobby and just want to play with a particular group of players, somebody could easily just join in the room. Passwords for private lobbies are in Splatoon and ARMS, so why not in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? Next, the random track selection in lobbies needs to be improved. When a track gets picked, it won't be put up for selection in the next race, but afterward, it could pop up again. This can lead to many sessions of going to the same track over and over again. There are 48 tracks in the game, so if a track gets picked, it should not be able to be put up for selection for like another 5 races. And the last thing that needs to be fixed in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is about joining players via the recent players list. In the Friends tab of the online menu, you can scroll down and find a list of all the players you've played with before, and you might be able to join their lobby. The problem with this is, there's no way to hide this online status. Not even changing the friend settings in the Nintendo Switch system settings can fix this. So this leads players to end up stalking other players, and if you're a popular player or in the Mario Kart community like myself, then stalking will happen very often. This can get really annoying, and some of these stalkers can end up targeting you with items. Now, blocking players can actually prevent them from joining the lobby via recent players, but the problem is, I shouldn't have to go out of my way to block a person, and you can only block up to 100 people at a time. Once again, being a popular Mario Kart player myself, I hit that limit very quickly. Mario Kart 7 had the option to hide your online status from recent players, so why not Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? It would make the online much better than to have to deal with annoying stalkers. So those are the things that I think still need to be fixed in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Let me know if there's anything else you think needs to be fixed in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe in the comments below. That's gonna do it for this video, and please Nintendo, if you're watching this, implement these changes. Please.